Hi everyone, I'm Shelly and you're watching There's No Place Like Home. I'm back with another question the narrative video and today's topic is Satan in the Lake of Fire versus the existence of evil. Since delving into full preterism and sharing those findings on my channel, it has been very common for me to receive comments about how Satan could possibly have been in the lake of fire by AD 70 when there is so much evil in the world today. And it is a, it is a legitimate question, and it's a question that I had, and I'm hoping to address it, you know, in, in a brief video today. I don't think that it's going to take much, but I'm hoping that it will help you to understand why we have an issue with looking at this. So we'll just read the verse that we're speaking of first, Revelation 20, verse 10. And the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur, where the beast and the false prophet were, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. So it is a common stance that when the devil will be thrown in the lake of fire, that everything is just going to be peaceful. There's going to be no more evil in the world, no more sin in the world, because the devil is now gone. It's very common for people both in the Christian community and the secular community to basically say the devil made me do it whenever they, they sin or whenever they do something wrong if you're going to use the speech that a secular person would use. Is it the devil that makes you sin though? Well, let's take a look at what Galatians 5 says. For the desires of the flesh are against the spirit, and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh. For these are opposed to each other, to keep you from doing the things you want to do. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do you see that long list? Where in this passage do you see that it is Satan who causes people to do these things? It's not in, these, in this passage. What is the cause? It's the works of the flesh. We are the ones who are responsible for our sin. As much as we like to take a look around us and attribute all of the evil that we see in the world today to Satan, I think the very first thing that we need to do is we need to realize that human beings are very, very capable of sin. And we need to start holding ourselves accountable for these things and stop blaming Satan for the things that we as people are doing. Unfortunately, we don't need Satan around to nudge us to sin because we very well fall into it easily ourselves. Unless you think I'm wrong, unless you think that human beings are not capable of doing these things without Satan, Let's look at this list here again that is attributed to the works of the flesh and not Satan. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissensions, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. All of the issues that we see in the world today are rooted in these very things that are works of the flesh. Something else that people will often bring up and something that I also had thought about was, well, if Satan is in the lake of fire, how could people still be worshiping him? And we, we certainly know that that is the case. We see it a lot, and this says Illuminati, but there are a lot of secret societies that have Luciferian agendas. We know that there are sacrifices to Moloch. There are satanic groups everywhere. Does that mean, though, that Satan is not in the lake of fire? Does that mean that Satan is still alive and well? Well, I've got some examples to share with you. I'm sure you all recognize this man. 
and I'm not trying to start a debate in the comments over who he was and what his agenda was or anything like that. I am pointing him out to show you that here is a man who, uh, who gathered a huge following in his life is no longer alive yet. He still has followers today. Is he still roaming the earth? No, he's not. Here's another example, Karl Marx. <laughs> and you see the hidden hand there, that free, that Freemason gesture. But going beyond that, here is Karl Marx, another man who is no longer alive, no longer walking the earth yet. He still has followers as well. People who had a huge influence while they were alive will continue to have an influence on people for decades, even hundreds of years to come, depending on their level of charisma. So if you think of the fact that Satan is a supernatural being, and if we compare him to, for example, Karl Marx or this man here, I'm afraid that if I say it, I'm going to get my, my video banned. But regardless, if we compare him to these two people, they are mere human beings. He, Satan, on the other hand, is a supernatural being. So if they can have this much influence on people, imagine the influence that Satan can have on people today. He doesn't need to be here. The remnants of what he left behind are still here and they take hold in certain people. And why does that happen? Sin. That is why that happens. So I'm hoping that this explained this a, a little bit for you. We really need to stop blaming the devil for everything that we do wrong or even for what other people do wrong and realize that we need to start holding ourselves accountable for the sin that we have in our lives. And I hope that again, that this helped you to understand this situation just a little bit better. If you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one down below. And if you like my work and would like to support my channel, I will leave a link in the description for my YouTube membership, or you can just click on it right on my channel page. And I hope you have a great day.